Hi, welcome to the channel and today I'm going to be showing you how to create digital checkboxes in Word. So first of all, you'll need something called the developer tab at the top here. Now if you cannot see the developer tab, go up to Word, go to preferences, go to ribbon and toolbar and then in this section here, go down to the bottom where it says developer and make sure it's checked. When it's checked, just click save and then you'll come out of that menu. So when you're in the developer tab, you need to concentrate on this section here. This is what will control your document in terms of making it a digital selection. So for example, we go to the top here and there's a checkbox here. Just click on the checkbox and you can currently see that it's shaded. Now you don't have to have that shading if you don't want to. You can come up to the top here and just click off shading. Then just go to the next box and do exactly the same. And you can go down and put these checkboxes wherever you like. Now once these checkboxes are in, if I just zoom in and out, you'll, you can see they are complete checkboxes, but sometimes Word doesn't, for some reason, show all four sides. So once your checkboxes are in, you need to go up to this element here that says Protect Form, because if I try to click in one of these boxes at the moment, nothing happens. So you need to go and select protect form. That means that now you cannot edit anything in your form because it's protected. I can't click on anything up here because if I do, it'll send me straight to the first choice or the first box. So it's now protected. So now if I click inside this box, you can see I've got a cross. If you want to uncheck it, just click again and it will uncheck that box. Sometimes you have to click on it several times but that's just because it's a little bit glitchy, it will work. So once you've done that, you can simply send this as a Word document or you can send it as a PDF. If you want to send it as a PDF, just go to File, Save As, then just go down to File Format, click on the drop down and go down to PDF. If you want to go back and change your form in any way, just go back and select the Protect Form. You can see now all your options become visible again and you can go ahead and make those alterations. So I hope that's helped you today. If it has, please like and subscribe and have a great day.